Good morning traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. We are ready for a new trading week. After last week was concentrated on the meeting between the leaders of central banks in Jackson Hole in Wyoming in the United States. Mr. Ben Bernanke gave the markets a little injection. At least that was how it was interpreted. He said that the Federal Reserve would take what is necessary to then, let's say, boost the uh, stagnating U.S. economy. Uh, <clears throat> the um, uh, stock markets in the United States uh, were skyrocketing after uh, Mr. Bernanke's speech, and also this trend continued in Asia this morning. That means that the market is now taking it more or less for granted that the Federal Reserve would take then monetary easing measures when it meets on the 12th and the 13th of September. Eyes are this week also on the central bank meeting in the European Central Bank on Thursday. It seems that Germany has now given up some of the resistance to uh, then uh, bond buying from the European Central Bank, even if this is a little reluctant. The Euro US dollar is now trading around 125.80, down from Friday's high when it skyrocketed to 126.75, but on the other hand, far uh, better level on the Euro now than it has been for the last weeks. If the European Central Bank should give a green light for then starting to buy uh, sovereign bonds from Italy and Spain, that would probably mean that we would see a still stronger euro during the end of the week. Mr. Bernanke's speech also had a very positive effect on uh, commodities. Oil prices jumped up. Brent crude is at the moment trading at 114.50, and also New York crude is above 96. The gold prices also had a very positive, uh, has seen a very positive development. It jumped close to 40 dollars after Mr. Bidankis uh, had uh, finished his speech, and it is now trading very close to 16.90. Also, silver is very strong in the, uh, uh, in the precious metals market. There are small changes in the currency markets. Uh, the Japanese yen is somewhat stronger in relation to dollar, uh, but otherwise very small changes. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting trading day in the markets today and for the net rest of the week. And it's all reason again for traders to follow the favorite pair, Euro-US dollar. I wish you a very good trading week from Cyprus.